Hydrogen and oxygen are uh, diatomic molecules. Uh, that means that each uh, hydrogen molecule has two uh, hydrogen atoms uh, glued together, two oxygen atoms glued together to form an oxygen molecule. When those molecules form, it's because the electrons, at least the valence electrons uh, in the uh, uh, atoms as the two come together, form a new kind of orbital that's around both of the uh, nuclei and serves as a glue to hold the two together. But everybody knows that uh, hydrogen and oxygen together uh, can form a new kind of molecule, water molecule. And you wonder why, when you put them together in a mixture, they don't uh, spontaneously do that. Well, the reason lies somewhat in the fact that the hydrogen and, and oxygen molecules are formed when the electrons lose energy to form the new orbitals. The energy gets away as a photon and then the new orbitals are stuck that way. They can't uh, undo themselves until the missing energy comes back. Well, so if you mix these two together, hydrogen and oxygen, each one separately is kind of happy the way it is. But um, if you want to combine them into a water molecule, you've kind of got to get those electrons back up out of their wells, back up, give them uh, some of that energy they lost, get them excited, and the time-honored way to do that is to strike a match when hydrogen and oxygen are together, provide a little bit of extra energy, activation energy, to get the process started. Well, I asked my chemist friends if they had a, a demonstration of this process of combining hydrogen and oxygen uh, to form water. And they said, oh, yeah, we've got a great demonstration of that. There's only one small thing wrong with the demonstration, and that is sometimes it blows up. Well, I'm a physicist of a somewhat uh, theoretical bent, and so that was uh, a little bit alarming to hear that. And they said, do not worry. Do not worry. We'll give you one of the white coats we all wear over there in the chemistry department. I said, what good's a white coat if the thing blows up? I said, well, don't you know why we wear white coats? I said, no, I don't know why you wear white coats. He says, look, when you bleed, it's very easy to see where you're bleeding. The parametrics know exactly where the problem is. And this coat they gave me looks like there's still a few blood stains on it, assuming perhaps that uh, sometimes this experiment does blow up. But let me show you how it works. The idea here is we're going to take some uh, hydrogen in this hydrogen tank we got at the hydrogen store, and we're going to put it into a glass jar that's underneath this safety screen. Uh, through a little uh, tube here at the top. So we'll put the, attach that on there like that. And it's going to form, uh, push hydrogen down into the, whoops, there we go. We're going to push hydrogen down into this uh, jar. Now the jar doesn't have a bottom. If you go down here to the bottom, the bottom's cut out. And uh, consequence of that is that when we take the tube off, air pressure from underneath is going to push hydrogen back out through the little tube and form a little jet of uh, hydrogen. There's oxygen in the air, and if we pry, provide a little bit of extra energy with a match, then these two will start to combine to form water molecules. Well, let's try it. Uh, first of all, we've got to turn on the main valve, and then uh, turn on the auxiliary valve here, and uh, Fill that up with hydrogen, then take the tube off, set it to the side, got to provide a little bit of extra energy, oh, and there we have it. We have hydrogen and oxygen combining to form water in a very hot flame, sometimes used to cut steel. It's a little color from sodium in the... <coughs> Well, that's quite an explosion. Uh, when new molecules are formed, it's a mechanism by which the electrons in the combining elements find a way to lower their energy. They lower their energy by forming new orbitals, the orbitals that glue together this new molecule, this water molecule. Now, you might expect to see water dripping out of here, but uh, in fact, um, this is a very hot environment, and the water that's formed 
is just water vapor which is spread on the inside of the glass jar as a kind of steam. When the electrons lose their energy and form this new molecule, then uh, um, they have to get rid of that extra energy, and that's what happened in the explosion. Uh, they got rid of that energy by forming light, which escaped in an explosive kind of, of way. So what we've seen is a chemical reaction, two molecules of hydrogen combined with one molecule of oxygen to form two new molecules of water.